Autonomism, also autonomous Marxism or autonomous Marxism is a set of anti-authoritarian left-wing political and social movements and theories. As a theoretical system, it first emerged in Italy in the 1960s from workerist communism. Later, post-Marxist and anarchist tendencies became significant after influence from the Situationists, the failure of Italian far-left movements in the 1970s, and the emergence of a number of important theorists including Antonio Negri, who had contributed to the 1969 founding of Pater Opereo, as well as Mario Tranti, Paolo Verno and Franco Bifo Berardi. Giorgi Katsafikas summarizes the forms of autonomous movements saying that in contrast to the centralized decisions and hierarchical authority structures of modern institutions, autonomous social movements involve people directly in decisions affecting their everyday lives. They seek to expand democracy and to help individuals break free of political structures and behavior patterns imposed from the outside. As such this has involved a call for the independence of social movements from political parties in a revolutionary perspective which seeks to create a practical political alternative to both authoritarian socialism and contemporary representative democracy. Autonomism influenced the German and Dutch Autonomen, the worldwide social center movement, and today is influential in Italy, France, and to a lesser extent the English-speaking countries. Those who describe themselves as autonomists now vary from Marxists to anarchists. Topic. Etymology The term autonomia, autonome is composed out of two Greek words, auto auto self, and nomos nomos law, hence when combined understood to mean one who gives oneself one's own law. Autonomy, in this sense, is not independence. While independence refers to an autarkic kind of life, separated from the community, autonomy refers to life in society but by one's own rule. Though the notion of autonomism was alien to the ancient Greeks, the concept is indirectly endorsed by Aristotle, who stated that only beasts or gods could be independent and live apart from the polis community. While Kant defined the Enlightenment by autonomy of thought and the famous sapere ad dare to know. Topic: The Marxist autonomous theory. Unlike other forms of Marxism, autonomist Marxism emphasizes the ability of the working class to force changes to the organization of the capitalist system independent of the state, trade unions or political parties. Autonomists are less concerned with party political organization than are other Marxists, focusing instead on self-organized action outside of traditional organizational structures. Autonomist Marxism is thus a bottom-up. Theory, it draws attention to activities that autonomists see as everyday working class resistance to capitalism, such as absenteeism, slow working, socialization in the workplace, sabotage, and other subversive activities. Like other Marxists, autonomists see class struggle as being of central importance. However, autonomists have a broader definition of the working class than do other Marxists, as well as wage-earning workers both white-collar and blue-collar. Autonomists also include in this category the unwaged students, the unemployed, homemakers, etc., who are traditionally deprived of any form of union representation. Early theorists such as Mario Tranti, Antonio Negri, Sergio Bologna, and Paolo Verno developed notions of immaterial and social labor that extended the Marxist concept of labor to all society. They suggested that modern society's wealth was produced by unaccountable collective work, and that only a little of this was redistributed to the workers in the form of wages. Other Italian autonomists, particularly feminists, such as Maria Rosa Dalla Costa and Silvia Federici, emphasized the importance of feminism and the value of unpaid female labor to capitalist society. A scholar of the movement, Michael Ryan, writes that autonomy, as a movement and as a theory, opposes the notion that capitalism is an irrational system which can be made rational through planning. Instead, it assumes the workers' viewpoint, privileging their activity as the lever of revolutionary passage as that which alone can construct a communist society. Economics is seen as being entirely political, economic relations are direct political relations of force between class subjects. And it is in the economic category of the social worker, not in an alienated political form like the party, that the initiative for political change resides. Topic: 
Italian autonomism Autonomist Marxism — referred to in Italy as operaismo, which translates literally as «workerism» — first appeared in Italy in the early 1960s. Arguably, the emergence of early autonomism can be traced to the dissatisfaction of automotive workers in Turin with their union, which reached an agreement with Fiat. The disillusionment of these workers with their organized representation, along with the resultant riots in particular the 1962 riots by Fiat workers in Turin Fatti di Piazza Statuto", were critical factors in the development of a theory of self-organized labor representation outside the scope of traditional representatives such as trade unions. In 1969, the operaismo approach was active mainly in two different groups, Lata Continua, led by Adriano Safri which had a very significant Roman Catholic cultural matrix, and Pater Opereo, led by Antonio Negri, Franco Piperno, Oreste Scalzone, and Valerio Morucci. Mario Capanna was the charismatic leader of the Milan student movement, which had a more classical Marxist-Leninist approach. Influences. <inaudible> <inaudible> Through translations made available by Danilo Montaldi and others, the Italian autonomists drew upon previous activist research in the United States by the Johnson Forest Tendency and in France by the group Socialismi o Barbari. The Johnson Forest Tendency had studied working class life and struggles within the U.S. auto industry, publishing pamphlets such as The American Worker, 1947, Punching Out, 1952, and Union Committeemen and Wildcat Strikes", 1955. That work was translated into French by Socialisme au Barbary and published, serially, in their journal. They too began investigating and writing about what was going on inside workplaces, in their case inside both auto factories and insurance offices. The journal Quaderni Rossi, Red Notebooks, produced between 1961 and 1965, and its successor class Operaea working class", produced between 1963 and 1966, were also influential in the development of early autonomism. Reniero Panzieri, Mario Tronti, and Tony Negri were some primary collaborators. Pirate radio stations also were a factor in spreading autonomist ideas. Bologna's Radio Alice was an example of such a station. Topic. Direct action. The Italian student movement, including the Indiani Metropolitani Metropolitan Indians, starting from 1966 with the murder of student Paolo Rossi by neo-fascists at Rome University, engaged in various direct action operations, including riots and occupations, along with more peaceful activities such as self-reduction, in which individuals refused to pay for such services and goods as public transport, electricity, gas, rent, and food. Several clashes occurred between students and the police during the occupations of universities in the winter of 1967-68, during the Fiat occupations, and in March 1968 in Rome during the Battle of Valle Giulia. Indiani Metropolitani were a small faction active in the Italian far-left protest movement during 1976 and 1977, in the so-called Years of Lead. The Indiani Metropolitani were the so-called creative wing of the movement. Its adherents wore face paint like the war paint of Native Americans and dressed like hippies. The emphasis was on stare insieme, being together, spontaneity in the arts, especially music. The group was active in Rome, during the occupation of the University La Sapienza in 1977. On the 11th of March 1977, riots took place in Bologna following the killing of student Francesco Lorusso by police. Beginning in 1979, the state effectively prosecuted the autonomist movement, accusing it of protecting the Red Brigades, which had kidnapped and assassinated Aldo Moro. 12,000 far left activists were detained, 600 fled the country, including 300 to France and 200 to South America. Tutte Bianche was a militant Italian social movement, active from 1994 to 2001. Activists covered their bodies with padding so as to resist the blows of police, to push through police lines, and to march together in large blocks for mutual protection during demonstrations. The Tug Bianche movement reached its apex during the anti-G8 protests in Genoa, in July 2001, with a turnout of an estimated 10,000 protesters in a single, padded block, 
ironically after a collective decision to go without the white overalls. Shortly after Genoa the Ya Basta Association disbanded, with certain segments reforming into the disobedienti, which literally means disobedience. This philosophy includes the occupation and creation of squatted self-managed social centers, anti-sexist activism, support for immigrants' rights and refugees seeking political asylum, as well as the process of walking together in large formations during demonstrations held in the streets, by force if necessary in case of clashes with police. Central to the Tutte Bianche movement was the Italian Ya Basta Association, a network of groups throughout Italy that was inspired by the Zapatista Army of National Liberation Uprising in Chiapas in 1994. Ya Basta primarily originated in the «autonomist» social centres of Milan, particularly Centro Social Leoncavallo. These social centres grew out of the Italian autonomia movement of the 1970 and 80s. The two Bianches have had international variations of one sort or another. For instance, in Britain a group calling itself Wombles adopted the tactics, even though the political orientation of Wombles differed from the Italian movement. In Spain, Mono Blanco was the preferred identifier. The first North American variant of the Tut Bianche, the NYC Ya Basta Collective based in NYC wore yellow overalls, rather than white. The French Autonome Movement In France, the Marxist group Socialisme au Barbarie, led by philosopher Cornelius Castoriadis, could be said to be one of the first autonomist groups. Socialisme au Barbarie drew upon the activist research of the American Johnson Forest tendency inside U.S. auto plants and carried out their own investigations into rank and file workers' struggles, struggles that were autonomous of union or party leadership. Also parallel to the work of the Johnson Forest tendency, Socialisme au Barbarie harshly criticized the communist regime in the USSR, which it considered a form of «bureaucratic capitalism» and not at all the socialism it claimed to be. Philosopher Jean-François Lyotard was also part of this movement. However, the Italian influence of the Operaismo movement was more directly felt in the creation of the review Materio pour l'intervention by Jan Moulier Boutang, a French economist close to Tony Negri. This led in turn to the creation of the Camarades Group 1974 Along with others, Moulier Boutang joined the Centre International pour des Nouveaux Espaces de Liberté CINEL, founded three years earlier by Félix Guattari, and assisted Italian activists accused of terrorism, of whom at least 300 fled to France. The French Autonome Movement organized itself in the AGPA Assemblée Parisienne des Groupes Autonomes, Parisian Assembly of Autonome Groups, 1977-78. Many tendencies were present in it, including the Camarades group led by Moulier Boutang, members of the organization Communist Libertaire, some people referring themselves to the desiring autonomy of Bob Nadolik, but also squatters and street wise people, including the group Marge. French autonomes supported captured Red Army faction former members. Jean Paul Sartre also intervened on the conditions for the detention of RAF detainees. The militant group Action Direct appeared in 1979 and carried out several violent direct actions. Action Direct claimed responsibility for the murders of Renault's CEO Georges Bess and General Audrin. Georges Bess had been CEO of nuclear company Eurodef. Action Direct was dissolved in 1987. In the 1980s, the autonomist movement underwent a deep crisis in Italy because of effective prosecution by the state, and was stronger in Germany than in France. It remained present in Parisian squats and in some riots for example in 1980 near the Jussieu campus in Paris, or in 1982 in the Ardennes department during anti-nuclear demonstrations. From 1986 to 1994 the French group, Comité des Mal Loges, occupied several buildings of the French National Social Housing Authority to denounce the cruel lack of lodging for workers, they were several hundred and took their decisions in democratic assembly, with support from all autonomous groups of Paris, many of them were worked on the anti-prison. In the 1980s, the French autonomists published the periodicals Cat Pages 1981-82, Rebels 1981-93, Tout 1982-85, Molotov et Confetti 1984, Les Fossoyers du Vieux Monde, La Chôme 1984-85, and Contra 1987-89. 
In the 1990s, the French autonomist movement was present in struggles led by unemployed people, with travailleurs, chamours, et précaires en colère TCP, angry workers, unemployed, and marginalized people, and l'Assemblée Générale des Chamours de Jussieu, General Assembly of Jussieu's Unemployed People. It was also involved in the alter globalization movement and above all in the solidarity with illegal foreigners collective des papiers pour tous permits for all 1996 and collective anti expulsion 1998 to 2005 several autonomous journals date from this time colombo 1988 to 93 apache 1990 to 98 tic tac 1995 to 97 kuroshi 1998 99 and tikkun 1999 to 2001 from 19 to 28 July 2002, a no-borders camp was made in Strasbourg to protest against anti-immigration policies, in particular inside the Schengen European space. In 2003, autonomists came into conflict with the French Socialist Party PS during a demonstration that took place in the frame of the European Social Forum in Saint-Denis Paris. At the end of December, hundreds of unemployed people helped themselves in the Bon Marché supermarket to be able to celebrate Christmas an action called «autoreduction» of prices in French. French riot police CRS physically opposed the unemployed people inside the shop. Autonomes rioted during the spring 2006 protests against the CPE, and again after the 2007 presidential election when Nicolas Sarkozy was elected. On the 11th of November 2008, the French police arrested 10 people, including five living in a farmhouse on a hill overlooking Tarnac, and accused them of associating with a terrorist enterprise by sabotaging TGV's overhead lines. Nine out of ten were let go and only Julian Coupet, the alleged leader, remained in custody for about a year, charged with directing a terrorist group by the Paris prosecutor's office. Topic. The German Autonome Movement in the 1970s and 1980s In Germany, Autonome was used during the late 1970s to depict the most radical part of the political left. These individuals participated in practically all actions of the social movements at the time, especially in demonstrations against nuclear energy plants Brokdorf 1981, Wackersdorf 1986 and in actions against the construction of airport runways Frankfurt 1976 The defense of squats against the police such as in Hamburg's Hafenstrasse was also a major task for the autonome movement. The Dutch anarchist autonomen movement from the 1960s also concentrated on squatting. Tactics of the autonome were usually militant, including the construction of barricades or throwing stones or Molotov cocktails at the police. During their most powerful times in the early 1980s, on at least one occasion the police had to take flight. Because of their outfit heavy black clothing, ski masks, helmets, the autonome were dubbed der Schwartz Block by the German media, and in these tactics were similar to modern black blocks. In 1989, laws regarding demonstrations in Germany were changed, prohibiting the use of so-called passive weaponry, such as helmets or padding and covering your face. Today, the autonome seen in Germany is greatly reduced and concentrates mainly on anti-fascist actions, ecology, solidarity with refugees, and feminism. There are larger and more militant groups still in operation, such as in Switzerland or Italy. The Greek anarcho autonomoi In Greece, the anarcho autonomoi Greek anarcho autonomoi anarchist autonomists, emerged as an important trend in the youth and student movement, first during the 1973 Athens Polytechnic uprising against the military dictatorship that ruled the country at the time. After the collapse of the dictatorship in 1974, the anarcho-autonomoi became considerably influential, firstly as a social trend within the youth and then as a very loose and diverse political trend. The definition, anarcho-autonomoi, itself, is much debated. One reason for this is that it was originally coined by opponents. However, it was also quite quickly adopted by many adherents, used as a generic term. Before 1973, in Greece, there was very little tradition in anarchism or libertarian socialism in general. 
An exception to this was Agi Stenas, an early comrade of Cornelius Castoriadis. Castoriadis belonged to Stenas's small council communist group before he emigrated to France and was influenced by it. Later these roles were turned around. The small groups that existed were almost physically eliminated by the Nazis, the local establishment, and the Stalinist Communist Party during the Nazi occupation and the Greek Civil War that followed, with Castoriadis and Stenas, themselves, being two of the few survivors. Thus, the radical Greek youth in the 1970s, having very little relative background to refer to, resided to an extensive syncretism of multiple trends originating in the respective movements in other European countries. Anarchist and anarcho-syndicalist trends converged with situationist, workerist, or other autonomous trends and even with radical non-autonomous Marxist trends. The anarcho-autonomoi made a very strong stand citation needed during the 1978-80 student movement, coming into violent confrontation with the police and the also, of considerable influence Stalinist Communist Youth KNE. Such stands were repeated whenever the student, worker, and youth movements were rising in 1987, 1990-91, 1998-99, and 2006-7. However, their intensity has been falling since 1990-91. Parallel to such participation in social movements, a large number of social centers many of them squatted exist to this day around Greece, and many of them participate in social struggles on a local level. These social centers, whether they now identify as autonomist or not, most use terms such as anti-authority, anti-ecclesiastes while some identify as anarchist, function in the ways that historically emerged through autonomia. There is also a multitude of small political groups which identify as autonomist, ranging from workerist to postmodernist. Most of them are still connected to the respective groups that identify as anarchist. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Influence. The autonomous Marxist and autonomous movements provided inspiration to some on the revolutionary left in English-speaking countries, particularly among anarchists, many of whom have adopted autonomous tactics. Some English-speaking anarchists even describe themselves as autonomists. The Italian operaismo movement also influenced Marxist academics such as Harry Cleaver, John Holloway, Steve Wright, and Nick Dyer Witherford. In Denmark and Sweden, the word is used as a catch-all phrase for anarchists and the extra-parliamentary left in general, as was seen in the media coverage of the eviction of the Ungdomshuset squat in Copenhagen in March 2007. Topic see also topic Autonomous thinkers Franco Bifo, Berardi George Cafensis Harry Cleaver Silvia Federici Michael Hart John Holloway Antonio Negri Mario Tronti Paolo Verno topic Movements and organizations Blitz Norway Disobedienti X2 Bianche Homeless Workers Movement MTST Campa Tilsamens. Campa Tilsamens. London Autonomist Swedish Anarcho Syndicalist Youth Federation Ungdomshuset, Danish Autonomist Squat Topic Autonomous Publications Offhaben Kollegamenti Wobbly Multitudes Magazine Roar Magazine Topic Others Autonomy Effective Labour Direct Democracy Horizontalidad Commune 1 Libertarian Marxism Popular Assembly Sovereign Citizen Movement Spontanism Sway Iuris Open Marxism Hakim Bey on Autonomous Zones Topic References Topic Bibliography Autonomism as a Global Social Movement by Patrick Cunningham, The Journal of Labor and Society, 1089 to 7011, Volume 13, December 2010, pp. 451, 464, Fire and Flames: A History of the German Autonomist Movement by Geronimo, AK Press, 2012. ISBN 9781604860979. In French, L'Autonomie. Le Mouvement Autonome en France et en Italie, Editions Spartacus 1978 in French Autonomes, Jan Bukhoy and Jacques Santi, Ansaldi 1985 in French Action Direct. Du Terrorisme Français à l'Aeroterrorisme, Alain Hammond and Jean-Charles Marchand, Seuil 1986 in French Paroles Directs. Légitimité, Revolt et Révolution, Autour d'Action Direct, Loïc Debray, Jean-Pierre Dutouil, Philippe Godard, Henri Lefebvre, Catherine Rajolier, Anne Sviva, Jacques Wanstagen, ACRATIE 1990 in French Un traître chez les totos, Guy Dardel, ACTES Sud 1999 novel in French BAC plus 2 plus crime, Lefer Florence Ray, Frédéric Couderc, Castells 1998 in French Italie 77. 
La Movement, Les Intellectuals, Fabrizio Calvi, Seuil 1977 in Italian L'Operaismo degli anni 60. Da Quaderni Rossi a Class Operaia, Giuseppe Trotta e Fabio Milana ed. Derivieppprodi 2008 in Italian Una Spiratoria Tranquilla. Per una storia orale del 77, ODRADEK 1997 in German Die Autonomen, Thomas Schultz et Almut Gross, KONKRETELITERATUR 1997 in German Autonom in Bewegung, AG Grawak aus den ersten 23 Jahren, Association A 2003 in English The Subversion of Politics, European Autonomous Social Movements and the Decolonization of Everyday Life Georgi Katsafikas, AK Press 2003 Six in English Negativity and Revolution, Adorno and Political Activism London, Pluto Press, 2009 John Holloway ed., with Fernando Matamoros and Sergio Tischler ISBN 978-0-7453-2836-2 in English Autonomia, Post-Political Politics, ed. Silver Lotringer and Christian Marazzi. New York, Semiotext e., 1980, 2007. ISBN 1-58435-053-9, ISBN 978-1-58435-053-8. In English, Os Kangaceros A Crime Called Freedom, The Writings of Os Kangaceros Volume 1, Eberhardt Press 2006 In English, Storming Heaven, Class Composition and Struggle in Italian Autonomist Marxism, Steve Wright, University of Michigan Press ISBN 0-7453-1607-7 In Greek, Noembers 73. Otoi oi agon senekazontai den exagorizontai den dikaiotheken ed. Autonome protobulia politan. Athens 1983. In Greek, Anamnesis ages stenas epsilon Athena 1985. In Greek, tu epanastatiko problema samara Cornelios Castoriades Epsilon Athena 2000 In English The City is Ours, Squatting and Autonomous Movements from the 1970s to the Present. Ed. Bart van der Steen, Ask Katzif, Leendert van Hugenhuges. PM Press, 2014. ISBN 978-1604866834 External links Topic. Archives Libertarian Communist Library Mario Tronti Archive Libertarian Communist Library Sergio Bologna Archive Libertarian Communist Library Maria Rosa Dalla Costa Archive Libertarian Communist Library Nick Dyer Witherford Archive Libertarian Communist Library Antonio Negri Archive Libertarian Communist Library Reniero Panzieri Archive Libertarian Communist Library Harry Cleaver Archive Topic. Others Articles by members of the Operaismo Movement AUT Op Sci, Autonomist Forum and Texts Recombinant, Autonomist Forum and Mailing List Texas Archives of Autonomous Marxism Affinity Project Directory and Chronology of Autonomous Marxism Libertarian Communist Library, Texts on Autonomism Wildcat A Critique of Autonomism, published by a Trotskyist group TIQQUN Introduction to Civil War Fragments <laughs>